Welcome to Successful Meetings in English. In this final lesson, we review some general tips and hints to hold a successful meeting. At the beginning of the course, we showed you some statistics that said that some people think meetings can be a waste of time. Uh, however, meetings can be exciting and fun. It's great to share ideas and exchange opinions with your colleagues. And if uh, you can spend a positive time together and enjoy uh, working with other people, then there's a great chance your meetings can meet its purpose and be successful. Let's have some final tips to try and achieve this. Firstly, it's very important to go to meetings with the right mindset. Meetings can be very positive experiences, but it doesn't happen all the time, and you should prepare yourself for possible difficulties. In reality, meetings often take place because things are not going well, or we have things to sort out. In such cases, many people disagree. Don't go in thinking and hoping that people will agree. Then you might only disappoint yourself. Having a mindset that people are supposed to disagree will be very helpful. Then you will be well prepared. And if everyone agrees and has a nice meeting in the end, then it is a bonus. Another tip is to have a balance of being polite and being firm. It's very good to be polite, but also to be firm about the position that we hold in a meeting. Being polite helps to establish good relationships. We assume most of you are professionals and you're used to reaching agreement or brainstorming through discussion and using logic. The tactics of being polite and to value other people will have long term positive effects. Equally importantly, you need to be firm and clear about your position. Listening to other people's opinions does not mean you have to always adopt their ideas. In the end, your opinions should also be heard and valued. For that, it's important that you know your goals and you communicate them clearly. A very practical tip to make meetings go well is to mention people's names. For example, thanks, Mark. It's an excellent proposal. What do you think, Sarah? Mr. Kim mentioned a very good point earlier. Mentioning people's names can play a little magic. It shows that you care about other people's opinions. This can help collegiality and teamwork and help your meetings be successful. Of course, people are only human and they perform differently at different times, differently on a Monday or a Friday, or differently before lunch or after lunch. It's important that we are aware of these things and try to encourage our participants as well as we can. People may be tired, stressed, or hungry. It helps to have some light refreshment if necessary and to have breaks. This will lighten the mood and help people focus on the meeting. Some facilitators use humor, and this can be very effective in helping people to relax. It's risky though, as of course people have different senses of humor. It's particularly important to be sensitive about this in cross cultural meetings. Finally, we think it's very important that you take some time to reflect on your meetings so that you can improve the next one. With this lesson, there's a PDF file with a number of checkpoints that you can think about. These include the purpose and objectives, feedback, and decisions taken. It's good if you can do this by yourself or with your fellow participants. In this lesson, we have learned a few final tips to make your meetings even more successful. We hope that you have enjoyed the course and found the language and tips useful. We would really appreciate it if you could leave a review so that we can reflect on how useful the course has been for you. Good luck for your future meetings and study! Happy English learning!